don't think you necessarily need to see like the whole entire wheel. I'm gonna make it work. Okay, so here is like the handle. There is a foot pedal, but I don't recommend using it because like you really can't throw this way unless you're a kid. <laughs> um, but there's a handle right here and it just goes. I will say, hi, sir. Okay, okay. Good job. <laughs> um, I will say the slowest is not as slow as you, I would personally like. This is like the slowest setting. I would like to be, uh, I'd like to have it just go a little slower, but it doesn't bother me too much. But it goes pretty fast too. So that's the speed for the fast. I gotta get this clay off. Um, this plate, it's like ribbed and I, it's supposed to be ribbed so it grabs the clay a little bit better. But I personally just don't like it as much. I feel like I'm going to like cut my skin a little bit, which you won't. I'm just a little paranoid. Wipe that off. The only thing with this, I'm not personally used to using a handle when I'm throwing. I'm used to the foot pedal. So that'll be, um, that'll take some getting used to for sure. This is like two pounds of clay. Um, it's recycled clay, so it, I don't I'm not, I don't know how well I can throw with this right now. It's a little wet, but it should show you an idea. This should show you an idea of what this can do, which this actually seems like a pretty powerful little thing just for practicing. So. I'm not mad about it. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of help and shape it. I don't typically do this. I usually use the wheel just to like center it a little bit better. Um, but because it's so small and it's not as powerful as like a shimpo, um, I'll just help it out a little bit. Okay, take a little drink. Okay, here we go. Um, I have my water over here, but if I'm just throwing, I'm going to put it here or like throwing without using the camera. So I'm grabbing. So you can put quite a bit of pressure, like I'm using a good amount of my body weight on it already. It does slow down a little bit. Um, when you put some pressure. I feel like that's to be expected. So I'm a beginner. I've only been doing this for, oh, um, I don't know, eight months, but very inconsistently the last eight months because I have to go to the studio and I have to find studio time that works with my work schedule. So I'm only able to do it like if I'm lucky, once every once a week on the weekends, I feel like I'm not seated very nicely. So if you haven't thrown, or if you're really new to throwing right now, I'm, what I'm doing is coning it, and I'm gonna do this like three or four times, honestly, because it's recycled clay. And there's probably a lot of air bubbles because I probably didn't wedge it very good. I'll do it one more time. It always kind of freaks me out because it's a weird shape. It's a very foul shape. Which is fine. Okay, here we go. So now I've wedged it or coned it. So now I'm just gonna center it, which 
I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on this and it's not slowing down too much, which I'm personally really happy about. I definitely have air bubbles in here still. Which is, this is okay. This is not as bad as I'm thinking it is. It could be better though. Anyways, we'll move on. So I'm gonna put a hole in it. I don't know the correct term. Like slicing off clay. A little bit more water. Which, you can use a needle to gauge how much space you have left to go down. But I've kind of just been eyeing it lately because I want to get good at that. Because I honestly don't like the step of putting a needle tool in. Okay, I'm going to expand it. Again, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure, and it's really not slowing down much. Okay, so I brought you in closer so you can see a little bit better of how this thing works. A little closer at least. Okay. And like I said, I'm, I'm an amateur. So I really don't know what I'm doing. I know the basics. But I'm not like fantastic or anything like that. Okay, so I'm going to start pulling. This is a typical speed I would say. Oh, I'm just going to fix the inside of my pot here. I have quite a few air bubbles in here. More than I would like, but it's going to be fine for this purpose. Just make sure it's wet. Okay, now we can pull. So I'm just going to like pull. I'm going to pull inwards. I've been working on that. pretty good. That was a good pull, guys. I don't know how tall I can get this, but I'm going to try to get it tall because I want it to be more of a vase situation. And as you can see, it's pretty powerful like I'm not having to it's not like fighting against me or anything like that close that up a little bit clean the inside up that's not what I want to do excuse me Uh, I'm gonna try to get one more pull out of it. Oops. I do feel like I'm I'm like grabbing chunks off the actual plate more than I would normally do for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, this is the part that's kind of hard. Just a light pull. Also, I forget to compress the clay. I always forget. Okay, I feel like that's pretty good. As tall as I feel like it can get the walls. 
And then I think I'm gonna do like a wide, like a wide situation and I'm gonna bring in the neck, which I've been very unsuccessful in the past doing this. So I'm gonna try it out anyway. Or should I do a wonky? I don't know. I just did a wonky. I'll try to do this thing that I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna like thick, like widen this part of it probably. And then I'll like make this part of it more skinnier. I'm not very good at this, so I just know you kind of have to brace both sides. There we go. Better than I've done in the past, let me tell you. And then I'm just kind of... Bring this top part in a little bit. And I want this to be quite dramatic, so I'm going to keep working it. <gasps> oh no. It's definitely collapsing on me, which I'm honestly not surprised. Take the top edge off a little bit. Where's my needle tool? The little sun's peeking out. There we go. Good as new. I'm just gonna clean it up, get off the slip. I feel like I should have done a wonky one, but that's okay. For this instance, you guys can see that I'm obviously a beginner and I'm able to use this. You don't need the fanciest tools. It's not about the tools, it's about the artist. <laughs> okay, this is not how I wanted it to turn out, but... I wonder if I can get it close to what I want it to be. And as you can tell, it's like pretty quiet. Okay. Well, it's not exactly what I wanted it to turn out. But in this instance, pretty good throw to show you guys how this wheel can work for you. It also comes with this tool that I don't know how to use. So, don't judge. But I think I like it. I think. I feel like it's slipping out of my hands. I don't know. I feel like I don't I just don't know how to use this tool quite yet, but I feel like I don't have any control over it. I'm usually using this tool, which I can't grab. There we go. I 
I feel like I don't hate that. It's kind of cute. Just a little trim. I'm gonna wipe it down a little bit. Get the slip off. It is like I gotta get my hand in there. There we go. There is no bat pins on this thing, so you have to keep that in mind. There we go. Just a little trim and that should be, we should be able to do that.